Good morning. Oh, it's a beautiful hot day today. Good morning, Bentley. He's ready to hit the road. It's hot. We are here in Laughlin, Nevada. Uh, stayed the night here. We're, we changed our plans a little bit. We're gonna head for Flagstaff to go to Overland Expo West. Um, figured, why not? So, we decided to take a little detour the long way to come out here, but check this out. This is the Laughlin like strip, right? I'm in a truck parking thing on the other side of the river. But you see that hotel? That is the riverside here in Laughlin. And we're getting a later start than we wanted to. And the reason is because I was up late. And the reason why I was up late was because I was playing around with the new Wi-Fi booster. So that hotel, the free Wi-Fi, it's actually the little shuttle boat, not the hotel itself, because you have to have like a room and a login and all that. But the boat itself has free Wi-Fi that shuttles people across the river because there's parking down the way over there too. But I was able to use my Wi-Fi booster and log into the little shuttle boat uh, free Wi-Fi and I was watching YouTube last night and it was awesome. This little thing. <laughs> it's so cool. <laughs> Anyways, we're gonna get heading out here. We're gonna go check a few things out that I haven't seen in a long time. And then we're gonna head for Flagstaff. We're gonna go drive through town, kind of show you guys that. I gotta go get some gas first. One of the reasons that I came this way was because the gas here in Bullhead City, Arizona is so much cheaper. Just down the road, about, I don't know, 20 miles or so, just down the road in Needles, California, there's another reason why it's expensive. Um, it was five sixteen a gallon. $5.16 a gallon, no thanks. Here at the Sam's Club in Bullhead, it's $2.66. So we're gonna go get gas there and yeah. This is the little shuttle of a water taxi. It takes you to the different casinos. But they have the little shuttle here that takes you to the parking lot on the other side of the river, like overflow parking. But this is where we got our free internet from last night on that Wi-Fi booster. All right, so I was mistaken. This is where we got the Wi-Fi. This is docked over there. This is the USS Riverside, they call it. And that's the Wi-Fi that we connected to. Yeah, Lake Mojave.
It was such a good feeling being back here. It's been years since I've been back to Laughlin Lake Mojave. We grew up here. We'd come out here every summer with friends and family, run the boat up and down the lake, find coves to swim in, go snorkeling, cliff jumping. Man, so many good memories here. I love being back. This cove right here is where we used to come to swim. We could anchor the boat there in the middle and the water's always nice and calm. It was really cool being back here. However, I wish I brought my glasses. It's bright. Oh, look at this. There's like a little park down there. Wonder how you get there. This is closed. Man, it really does seem like just yesterday my brothers and I would wake up early to get the boat out on this glass water to do some wakeboarding. I remember pulling them as close as I can get the boat to this dam and they'd spray it with the wakeboards. It seems crazy and dangerous now, but I'm sure it was fun at the time. Man, I really, really hope my dad doesn't ever see this video. We are Flagstaff bound. We are on our way. We have got... 163 miles to go. Yeah. Two and a half hours. It'll probably take us three or three and a half. Good morning. We are in Flagstaff. Got here yesterday afternoon and just kind of relaxed. Didn't really do a whole lot. It was lazy. Today's shaping up to be the same thing, just a nice lazy day. Uh, we're posted up at the Walmart. Um, there's a bunch of other RVs and you know campers and stuff here, so we figured it was good enough. First things first, we're gonna head on over to Anytime Fitness and I'm gonna shower. We gotta go take Bentley for a quick little walk. He's passed out still. Turn the lights up. Yeah, he's just, just chilling. Well, we got all, or I got showered up, and we are now here at Overland Expo at the fairgrounds. So we're just kind of chilling in the parking lot, our parking area, I guess and uh, just letting Bentley kind of relax outside for a little bit. He's gonna stay in the car. It's nice and cool today, so he'll, uh, he'll enjoy just loafing around. But we're gonna, I'm gonna run in and kind of check a few things out. And just kind of walk around, say hi to some friends that are here, and we'll head on out. We're gonna find a cool sp uh, spot to camp tonight. There's a place about 20, 30 minutes up the road from here it's uh, Lake Mary. It's a pretty cool little place. Um, so I might go try to find a spot to call home tonight. If you've never been to an Overland Expo show, you are sure missing out. There are so many builds, products, and ideas you can get inspiration from. It's mind-blowing. Whether you buy products or get ideas for DIY, this is definitely the place. I've gotten a handful of products from vendors and friends here that have made my van life so much easier. They're mainly from Overland Gear Guy and Shower Pouch because their gear is definitely top notch and no matter how hard I try, I'd never be able to replicate the quality in their products. All of the ideas at these shows for ways to build your rig are seemingly endless. Not only can you find cool stuff, but you can see creative ways to implement everyday necessities into that full-time van life lifestyle, but you can also meet cool people who have been doing it for years. I've been friends with the Shower Pouch guys for a few years now, and hanging out with them for expo dinners has been a tradition I definitely don't want to break. 
Well, that is a wrap. Flagstaff is about to be in our rear view mirror. We went camping last night out in Cinder Hills with uh, Nick and his family uh, from Rogue Overland and some friends of his. Look at this place. How cool is this? This would be so fun for some dirt bikes and quads and stuff. Just big open like volcanic ash. Look at that. It was fun camping here. It was very dusty and very dirty, but what a cool little place. It was fun hanging out with friends over the Overland Expo weekend, but for me, it was time to start heading out and making our trek towards Utah. <laughs>